It's your boy James, with the Stop Being Dirty, Stop Eating Dirty, subscribe to Whatever, subscribe though. What is that? What was that? Unprepared against loaded lux? You jersey so much that I hate jersey. I'm throwing out my jerseys. I'm never going to New Jersey. I don't like the NBA if they have. To serve. What is that shit? Are you kidding me? Choking round one? Backpedaling all your rounds? Your round two was cool. I liked it a lot, actually. But the expectations I had. And Loaded Lux, you're not safe. You're not. I need a room. That Loaded Lux is getting killed by daylight. That Loaded Lux is getting killed by daylight. It was fire, but it wasn't. Oh, seen it. Seen it. Seen it before. No tweaking. No saying. Yeah. Like, Hollow must have told you all the performance that night. Because I thought you were going to come with it. It was nothing. You wore the same pants you had in. Yeah. What a letdown. How dare you, Tsunami? How dare thee? Gonyo! I don't understand. I, I'm let down. I'm sorry. Subscribe, comment, how y'all feel? Loaded Lux won, but he won because he got through his material more cleanly? Sir, I'm a big fan. You over there talking to trainees on goddamn Instagram, talking pod every day? You ain't focused on this? You had 19 months to write. You come out eating Apple Jacks. I don't even want cereal anymore because I know you like it. Loaded, loaded Lux versus Surf. I expected so much more from the battle. As a fan, I thought it was going to be one of the battle for the ages. I knew the... I knew the... Um, I knew that the... It was going to be a style clash. But I didn't know the style clash was going to be so nasty that, like, it, it was going <sighs> to... Loaded Lux versus Daylight. From this, uh, from based off tonight, I have Daylight winning that. It's almost like Daylight, Lux, ba Lux battling right after Daylight made Daylight look like the better Lux. Not even. Lux battling after Daylight made Loaded Lux look like the not as good Daylight. Am I bugging? Was that amazing to y'all? Was that incredible to y'all? Both of them stumbling through their shit. Loaded Lux choking in his rounds too. Them chokes was in... You, they, you got called time on one of your rounds. But the first round, you ended a little shaky. You said, oh, we're even. I was listening. Meaning y'all both choked. You had the less worst choke. So you got the first. I actually preferred surf second. I did. I liked it. Because Loaded Lux just sounded the same. But at the end of the day, this is Loaded Lux's battle. And... Ah! I'm sorry, Daylight, because I was... Uh... Bruh, Daylight was incredible. Every round. Every round. Like, that first round, I was like, yo. I don't know if it's because I'm reading books more, but I'm understanding him, and it's ridiculous. Like, if you could actually understand what he's talking about. Tay Rock's... Okay. Both their first rounds was crazy. Tay Rock's best round of the battle was his first. Both their first rounds was crazy, crazy. Daylight did not take his foot off the gas pedal at all. He got better as the battle went on. And then that third round where he was just breaking, when he did the, bruh, he's like talking about how like Rock could be gay and the reasons why and like the, the, the way he did it, like broke down like everything Rock has said in his career and how it looks and daylight that that was a different day like that was like he didn't he's this whole every round was on tay rock every round was against tay rock if you want to debate the first because of preference go right ahead but daylight might have just caught a gentleman's 30. 
Tay Rock was great. Great, other than the oversized hat and that filthy blazer. He was amazing. Daylight came in construction boots, a Carhartt jacket, and was... Bruh. Bruh. That was impossible. That like they, you need daylight versus Lux. I don't want to see Lux no more. I don't want to see daylight no more unless it's against each other. Unless it's against each other. Tay Rock was fire, fire, but looked average next to that shit. I mean, my my focus was so like my camera's crooked. I, I was wrong. Now I'm blogging as I'm watching the event, so I don't know if I'm gonna be wrong about Lux and Surf. Or I don't even know the order I'm putting this in. So if this look crazy when I edit it, just understand. I, Daylight got me all mixed up right now. Salute to Daylight. Salute to Tay Rock. Day, Daylight got that battle clear as day. Clear as day. No pun intended. Subscribe to the channel. Please let me know what y'all think. Am I bugging? Am I bugging? Bruh. 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 You see the, hold on, with mine, y'all seen the new green joints? Or oh, this is the one that y'all loving, but the green little Gucci wave? Like, okay, let's talk about it. 25K, that wasn't worth $25. Come on! Jada Chicken Wing? Fonzarelli? Come on! Listen, short prep. Short prep, these dudes, this is their fifth battle in a month. You know who could do that? Not many people. I can't. Many people, you can't. It's hard to do. It's very difficult. I give you that much. But it was very lackluster. I was like, get the... My girl's watching Jersey Shore. I said, let me put this down and see what Snooki's doing. Like, it, I, I, it just, it wasn't... I, Jada Nightwing, like, it was real lackluster. As I'm watching it, I already felt... Fonz was taking this battle, you know what I'm saying? I think going into the battle, I had Jada Nightwing being the more overall battler, but it was like very, very dry. And when you already had that subtle, like kind of like monotony, kind of like not too electrifying, though you can raise your voice very disgustingly like an angry drunken uncle, like it, it, it just wasn't there for me today. It wasn't there. This wasn't the best Fonz at all. I mean, 25K, congratulations. And, and overall, you deserve it because the work you've been putting in. For this battle specifically, specifically, it wasn't for me. Very lackluster, but congrats to Fonz. You called out Kayshawn. Lord bless you. And uh, let's keep it moving. Saga! Kaka! Saga Kaka! What happened? Saga, that's my guy, man. Person, that's my dude, man. That's my dude. Queens, New York. That's my dude. He's been doing so great, and he's been on a, a crazy run. But he really dropped the ball, man. He's like, even in your third round where you didn't choke, it was just, it still wasn't clean. Choked horribly the first two rounds. Mike P with a clean 30. Doesn't take nothing away from the fact that Mike P be rapidly, rapidly, rapidly. You rapidly ass man bunning. You're, you're fire. That's the main stage, Mike. Get fire. You got this battle. And, and, and your rounds would have been hard to beat outside of that first one. I wasn't feeling it so, so much. But your rounds would have still been hard to beat if Saga was on 10. So nothing to take away from Mike P. But Saga dropped the ball on this one. Hopefully he comes back stronger next time. Until then, Geechee Gotti versus A Verb. Now, I was looking forward to this one overall. You know what I'm saying? I spoke to Verb a few days prior. He seems super ready for it, you know, coming into the game. Always an underdog, yet he's been here longer than everybody. And Geechee Gotti, I was excited to see too because for the past couple battles, I've been really going into the battles with Geechee Gotti, like kind of being biased against him, keeping it 100. Like, like I just feel like I just, we see him a lot. You know what I'm saying? We see him in a lot. And it's like, he's very consistent. He's getting checks, he's building his name. But me, it's like, you see the same thing over and over and over. It's kind of like, all right, you almost want to count him out or even want to see him take a L. It's just human nature. Or maybe it's just my dirty nature it's as a battle fan. But tonight, I really enjoyed uh, Geechee Gotti's performance, man. And then it's like, you got a verb who's like, his lyrical ability is on another level, but it goes to show like even in a quiet room where you're paying attention, it's still, you need like some, like you need to fit in more hard punches in between the lyrical ability, which I didn't get from him round one. I gave Geechee Gotti the first round. Now round two, Verb was 
talking. And I like that verb, man. Actually, I really enjoyed verb two and three. Same thing with Geechee, but look, let me get into it, right? So verb, again, he's I, I was worried it started round two because he's like, humana, 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 like whatever he be saying. But then he starts hitting you with like, okay, talk your shit. The talk, talk your, you know, perm head verb. That guy, that guy. You know what I'm saying? And Geechee Gotti, so consistent, so, like, he, he he's so, he's such an overall battler. Like, you know, I really counted him out for that, but he could really talk to you and then talk about his shit. And I kind of feel like he's been saying less of his, like, like, he's always good for saying, yo, I got a homie that, but he's doing a little less of it, which I like. So it's cool. I like hearing that. Round two, I kind of have it even. I'm gonna be real with you. I have round two even. I think this battle comes down to the second. With that being said, I gave Verb the third. I think Geechee, like, he was losing me a little bit in his third, I, but it still was a solid third when he's breaking down A-Verb's career. But overall, I was really enjoying A-Verb's third round. He was really just talking to him. He had mentioned something about him, like, giving him Geechee a dap on when he was a fan, and now he suddenly, you know, think he better than him. That, that was dope. And then, like, Geechee Gotti had some plant-based bars. I was crazy round one. Overall, I gave Geechee the first, Verb the third. This battle comes down to the second round. Tell me what y'all think. Subscribe to the channel. Stop being dirty.